everyone, welcome back to another episode of WebTech Tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to log into Kotak Bank account. Kotak Bank is an Indian private sector bank headquartered in Mumbai, Maharashtra, India. It offers banking products and financial services for corporate and retail customers in the areas of personal finances, investment banking, life insurance, and wealth management. In order to log into Kotak Mahindra Bank account, click open a web browser first. In the URL box, type in www.kotak.com and press the enter on your keyboard. This will take you to its official website, which looks like this. In order to log in, go and click on the login button at the upper right corner and you'll end up in the next page where you can log into your account by entering your credentials in the text boxes. From the drop down, select the areas from where you'd like to log into your account. In my case, I'm using the net banking option and go to the next field and enter your CRN number, username or your card number. Let me type in my username in the text box, but you can type in any of them. Click on remember me if you would like the system to remember you, but if you are using a public or a shared device, make sure to uncheck this box before beginning. If you need help remembering your username or your card number, you can click on need help link at the bottom and follow the instructions in order to look for your username or any of your credentials. After you're done typing it in, click on next. On the next page, you'll need to go ahead and enter your password. Make sure to type in the correct password. If you'd like to double check it, click on this show link at the right corner, which will help you reveal your password. Now, in case you've forgotten your password, click on generate password link and follow the instruction to reset to a new password. Finally, click on secure login after you're done entering your credentials and you'll be logged into Kotak Bank account quick and easy. That is how it is done. I hope you found the video to be helpful. If you did in any way, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Comment down below in the comment box if you have a question or a feedback for us. I'll soon be back with more tutorial episodes. Goodbye till then.